Good morning, my lovely children. Welcome to yet another wonderful class of EVS. So, where did we stop last time? Oh, yes, we had just returned from the nature walk, isn't it, children? Then, now, in module number two, it's time to understand what are the different types of plants around us. Come on, let's start. Hmm, let's peep into the garden again. What do we see in there? We see many plants around us. Plants are of various shapes and sizes. Some plants are big, some are small and some are very small. You know children, I really wonder whether these groups of big, small and very small plants have any names? I am sure they do. Let's find out. Hmm, what are these pictures here? Oh, these are small plants, aren't they? Grass, mint, tulsi. Look at their stems. They are so soft and green. Ah, so such plants with soft and green stems are called herbs. Got it, children? Very good. Whoa, what are these big plants doing here? Coconut tree, mango tree, neem tree. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear the word tree, children? Yes, the plants that are big and strong are called trees. Understood, children? Superb. Okay, okay. So, we learned that small plants are called herbs and big plants are called trees. But what are the plants which are of medium size called? Don't they have any name? Plants like hibiscus, cotton, rose are bigger than herbs but smaller than trees. Ab inhe kya bolte hai? They are called shrubs. S H R U B S shrubs. These are plants that are smaller than trees, short and bushy with many branches. Wow, that was amazing, isn't it, children? Yes. Okay, children, so let's bring all the different types of plants together. Kind of a quick recap. So, what did we learn? We learned that trees are big and strong plants. For example, mango, neem, etc. Then, shrubs. Shrubs are medium-sized bushy plants with many branches. For example, cotton, rose, etc. And lastly, herbs. Herbs are small plants with soft and green stem. For example, mint, grass, etc. It was so much fun learning the names of these groups of plants. Isn't it children? Yeah. And you know what? This was the secret that I had mentioned in module number 1 that I wanted to share with you. And now we have a cute little song about the garden. Come on, let's see what are these cuties doing in there. I open the door and then it's done. And I step outside. And I step outside. Into my garden. Into my garden. See my garden. my garden. I take a trowel. The seeds, I cover them up I water those seeds just right And wait, and wait, and wait, and wait Till I open the door Open the door And I step outside And I step outside I see a flower I see a flower In my garden In my garden I take more seeds, I dig more holes I water those seeds and wait And wait and wait and 
wait and wait till I open the door. Open the door and I step outside. And I step outside. It's for the flowers. It's for the flowers in my garden. In my garden. See my garden. See my garden. Love my garden. And we read the word wall. Today we have five words. Let's read them one by one. The first word is shrubs. S H R U B S shrubs. The next word is herbs. H E R B S herbs. The third word is trees. T R E E S trees. The fourth word is strong, S T R O N G, strong. And the last word is soft, S O F T, soft. Kadam. Let's see what do we have to write in the EVS notebook today. We have the first exercise. Unjumble the following words correctly. Ah, this is just so easy peasy. Let's catch the first word. The first word is T E E R. What could be the word? Correct. The answer is tree. The next word is C O T O T N. Hmm. Very good. The answer is cotton. Next, the third word is T L U S I. What could be the answer? Wow, you got that right. It's Tulsi. And the last final word S T O N G R. Hmm. Well done. It's strong. You guys are getting better each day. Proud of you all. Time to say bye children. Thank you so much for listening carefully and following the instructions properly. Till we meet next time, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.